Hi everyone. I feel very honored to be asked to do this virtual concert for you. Um, so thank you very much DDI for the opportunity. Uh, maybe at the risk of sounding vulnerable, I'm also extremely nervous and a tad bit uncomfortable doing something like this. I'm used to being on stage and not being able to replay and see myself. Um, so doing these little videos uh, and being able to see what I say and critique that and hear what I sound like is a little bit <laughs> out of my comfort zone. So in uh, true Mitchiff style, please feel free to laugh with me at myself because I'm always constantly thinking about what am I doing with my hands and where, where do you look and um, what is everyone seeing when they see the video and so please bear with me as I go through this. Um, I really wanted to find a few places where I find a few places that have had some significant uh, had a significant impact on my upbringing. Um, some places that have been really influential to me and remind me of specific people. And so the first place I'm starting today is on my grandparents' um, farmland. And so this land that you see behind me is actually farmed by my aunt and uncle now. And I tried to get out to the old homestead that's actually owned by a good family friend now. So thank you to Connie and Blair for letting me use the yard. But unfortunately, the dogs were just a little too much for me to handle. So I, <laughs> I couldn't battle them while singing. Um, so this first song I'd really like to dedicate to my grandparents specifically to my grandpa with with everything that's been going on um, in the last few months during this pandemic uh, it, it's really given me the opportunity and I think a lot of us to slow down and make those phone calls that you've been meaning to make for months and you don't realize how much time passes that you haven't spoken to some of your loved ones and so one of the blessings that has come out of this is that I've been able to have more and more good conversations with my grandpa and and hear more of his stories. Um, and I'm just really grateful for that opportunity. So I will start with the song called Grandpa by the Jets. <laughs>
So my maternal grandparents, and whose land I'm on right now, um, are Duncan and Joan Morrison. And I love being able to see their love story or have seen it um, throughout the course of my life. And this is a song that just hits me in the feelers and makes me think about their love for one another. You should recognize it. Saskatchewan winds have this uh, camera flying around and blankets all over the place. Like I said, bear with me. It's a little bit of Willie Nelson.
things because I couldn't battle the elements anymore. I had a visit from raccoons and being on the land is something that I love to do, but today it's just not the ideal um, environment to be in to do something like this. So I am lucky enough to have this wonderful place that I've been welcomed into to sing a few songs. And uh, I also wanted to be here specifically because this place means a lot to me and it actually holds a lot of history in my family. So before this building in St. Louis was the River Road Festival, um, it was, many of you may know what it was previous to this, um, but it was a fresh start for my pater paternal grandparents when they decided to move to this community. It was a fresh start for themselves and for their family. And um, I was thankful that they had this place to, to have um, jobs and to be able to build um, a new life for themselves and their family. And so now that this space has been reclaimed by good friends of mine, uh, Stacy and Christine, and they have taken the time to, and th the time and the energy and the love to put into it and create a space where we can gather and we can celebrate our culture. Um, there's also places in here where our River Women Collective meet and we've had some great times laughing and enjoying each other's company and food, of course. Um, and there's also been some really important work that's happened in this building when we were working on walking with our sisters um, for the course of a year and a half. And that took place last summer at Batosh. So some of the songs that I'm going to sing here, it's obviously some of my Patsy Cline stuff because that's um, where I started singing again was through Patsy Cline and on this stage specifically. So I'll start with Crazy.
to just note my beautiful outfit here that is designed by my friend Christine Teencamp um, and South Bass Rivers Design. So if you want to check out her Facebook page or website, she has some amazing um, garments on there with her beadwork that's all printed on it. It's just lovely. It just makes you feel, makes you feel the power when you wear it and mm -hmm. um, the power of the beadwork people. So thank you to Christine. I took my love and I took it down Climbed a mountain and I turned around And I saw my reflection Till the landslide brought me down Oh, you're in the sky What is it now? Can't the child within my heart Rise above Can I sail through the changing ocean tide? Can I handle the seas? Maybe. 
our, I guess, a dedication to the important people that we've all had to experience losing in our lives. Um, and they're hard to get through most of them without tears, even while I'm singing, but um, I hope you appreciate them and love them as much as I do. Yeah. 
Oh 
back home after a fun day of recording some songs and getting to see my mom and my matante dance in the background. And thanks to everyone for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed.